Salut à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur Geek World. Je suis Scar et aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour un nouvel épisode de The Wolf Among Us. La semaine dernière on s'est frité avec Bloody Mary et les Tweedles qui nous ont volé Crane. On s'est retrouvé blessé, genre salement blessé, je crois qu'on a un bras cassé, des, du plomb dans le bide, enfin c'est... On, on est dans un sale état et donc c'est la merde. Mais nous avons également introduit un nouveau personnage qui est Bloody Mary et également une nouvelle menace qui est The Crooked Man. Donc je pense que l'enquête ne fait que, que s'accentuer de plus en plus vers euh, The Crooked Man qui m'a l'air être le véritable et unique responsable de tout ce merdier. Du coup, sans plus attendre, nous allons continuer parce que c'était la fin du chapitre précédent et donc bah, on commence le chapitre 4, je crois. C'est ça. Chapitre 4. In sheep's clothing. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Well, let's stay <sighs> Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor! Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. I... On y va. Ah, 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 not good. Ah, not good. Oh. Ah putain. Allez. 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 Ouch. 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 Hey. Oh. 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 Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. 
He's lucky to be alive. Uh -huh. It won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. Hey, but you better be I got it. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. <laughs> oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Aww. W with what? Your hooves? Can I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. Give me the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. Aww. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. She's rolling. Anyways? Guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Doctor. Colin, Swiney. <laughs> uh. Ah, just a flesh wound. Hey. So, how do you um feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. Just and when guess. Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. Oh, you look in. like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. No, I'm what do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, 
Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Yep. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? No, Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah, you can't I give him a leash. <laughs> he doesn't work that way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? What? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> Hold on, who says I'm <laughs> sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. Everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. No, person I'm calm. not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? It's gonna be you're fucking pissing me off. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? Oh. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. So I should get back to the business so. office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Ça va être compliqué avec le fait qu'elle probably change out of these clothes. Oui. Consider the discussion tabled but not over. Oh, mais arrêtez. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Mm -mm. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. 
right? Look, uh, no. maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Fuck the rules. Balance pas mon mon pote comme ça. C'est les gens que Navix ne c'est bien. Hein. Incroyable. Il peut pas avoir une discussion de 3 secondes sans se foutre sur la gueule. Ce générique est toujours aussi génial. Donc, The Crooked Man. Ah, la question qu'est-ce que vient de foutre les prostituées là-dedans Pour moi, c'est très simple, c'est des dommages collatéraux. C'était pas dans le plan de Cookie Man d'attirer l'attention avec les prostituées. Je pense que le Cookie Man est ordonné qu'on fout la tête des prostituées sur la porte de chez Big Big. Parce que ça attire l'attention sur lui. C'est typiquement un truc qu'il voudrait pas. Donc, quelqu'un d'autre est impliqué. Hi, Sheriff. Et Nerissa, je commence à te soupçonner un petit peu d'être impliqué dans ce système. Hi, Beaucoup plus que ce qui n'y paraît. Have a seat. Long journey. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> nom, nom, nom. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? No, it's not. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. No, it's not the one. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. Mm -hmm. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Faith in Lily? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... 
but your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. No, lip I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? No. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I'm gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. Si, je veux le dire à tout le monde. Non, on n'était pas en train de faire des mamours. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Wait, you don't have to go. Quelque chose à voir avec la belle. D'accord. Intéressant. That was abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Wait. What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Okay. Okay. On va, on va enquêter sur. Et vous n'avez pas voulu me dire ce que vous étiez en train de faire. La belle bête, on va s'arrêter là. Après. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, baby. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it insulting. It's the principle. Arrêtez de vous engueuler, sérieux, putain. C'est l'un des seuls couples plus ou moins heureux de tout le, de tout oh. le quartier. Oh. What do you want? Well, 
You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? Mec, and I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Parce que I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Je ne me tape pas ta femme. Tu veux que je te le dise en quelle langue, bordel? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse oh, us for just a minute. Nul, putain. Can I talk to you in private? Oh, yes. Let's. Baf, quoi. Pas possible, ce gars. J'aime bien, mais t'es con. Hmm. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Ah, it's impossible. You tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. Nice. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. <sighs> Talk about you living in the past. That? Or do you want ouais, to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money ouais, and ça. answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. C'est bon? Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man. I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for okay. us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. Yes. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? Which... What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, no please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Interessant. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Oh, mon Dieu. Um, let me just, uh... No, 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 no. A day at the beach? Hey, Skiing we're slope? not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beach and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> humanly possible. Who is that? 
The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Ah, vous êtes dans la merde, les gars. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Vous êtes déjà dans la merde maintenant. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait. Who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there you can sort some things out. Okay, tap it. I guess I'll go check out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Oui. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Uh -huh. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she wants. So you do their dirty work. And look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Uh, fuck off. No. Probably not. Just a buddy. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Where are we going? Encore un nouveau choix. Le Lucky Pawn ou le Butcher's Shop. Et bah c'est parfait pour s'arrêter là, mes enfants. Parce que du coup. On va se retrouver la semaine prochaine et vous allez me dire dans les commentaires où est-ce que vous voulez que j'aille en premier. Où est-ce que vous pensez que c'est le plus intéressant Le Lucky Pawn où on sait pertinemment que Bloody Mary euh, s'est procuré euh, la hache du Woodsman. Mais également, euh, également c'est là où tout, tous les Tweeders, les machins, les euh, Jersey Devil font leur trafic de, euh, de prêt ou le butcher's shop où euh, ils ont l'air de faire des livraisons de choses pas très très catholiques donc qu'est-ce que qu'est-ce qu'on va chercher en premier le lucky bone ou le butcher's shop je sens qu'à la fin on va devoir chercher les deux mais vous allez choisir sur ce mes amis n'oubliez pas de vous abonner 
euh, au Facebook, au Twitter, au YouTube, au Discord. Euh, J'espère que vous avez vraiment apprécié cette vidéo. Si vous avez apprécié la vidéo, n'hésitez pas à laisser un like et à commenter. De toute façon, je vous invite à commenter pour euh, m'indiquer dans quelle direction je devrais aller pour le prochain épisode. Et puis, bah, partagez la vidéo le plus possible. Et sur ce, je vous dis à très très vite, à très très bientôt. Et on se revoit la semaine prochaine pour un autre épisode de Dwarf Mangas. Ciao